God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep, in the roars of water, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was was in the the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? So now that the surging waves of your indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always, like the deer running, deer for running streams, until you satisfy every longing in heaven. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, Lord show, show us, us the radiance, radiance of, of your Lord. mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults vaults of of heaven heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. (laughs) The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. 
There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To enlighten the world, Father, you sent us your word as the sun of truth and justice shining upon mankind. Illumine our eyes that we may discern your glory and the many works of your hand. The vaults of heaven <laughs> ring with your praise, praise, O Lord. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and the happiness of my heart because I bore your name, O Lord, God of hosts. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give him the praise that is due. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his, Through his holy, holy prophets, prophets he, he promised of old that he, that he would save, save us from, from our enemies, from the, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised, he promised to, to show mercy to our fathers and to and remember his holy covenant. This was, this was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from, from the hands of our enemies, free to worship, worship him without fear, holy and righteous, and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will, you will go, go before, before the Lord to prepare his way, to give, to give his, his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Our Savior has made us a nation of priests to offer acceptable sacrifice to the Father. Let us call upon him in gratitude. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Christ, eternal priest, you conferred the holy priesthood on your people. Grant that we may offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Father. In your goodness, pour out on us the fruits of your Spirit. Patience, kindness, and gentleness. May we love you and possess you, for you are love. And may every action of our lives praise you. May we seek those things which are beneficial to our brothers without counting the cost. To help them on the way to salvation. And now we will pray the Lord's Prayer for those things and those that we hold in our hearts. Our Father, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty Father, you have brought us to the light of a new day. Keep us safe the whole day through from every sinful inclination. May all our thoughts, words, and actions aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. We ask this through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.